So, are you ready for the next question? Here is your next question. Okay. So, the next question says, in which of the following option does fix make the equation true? So, I am going to give you four options and we need to find like which among the given options are the correct one. Okay. So, 32 divided by something is equals to 7. The second one says 42 divided by something is equals to 7. The third one says 54 divided by something is equals to 9 and the last one says both B and C. Okay. So, what we have to do here? We need to divide all the three and see which among them stands true for the equation. So, we need to get the answer 6. So, let us see. So, starting from the first one, 32 divided by 7. So, what is 7 into 4? 7 fours are 28, right? So, 4 and here it becomes 28. So, 12 minus 8 is 4 and this is 0. So, which means I am having a remainder of 4 and my quotient is also 4. So, does it stand true here? No. So, this option is ruled out. Shall we try the second one? The second one says 42 divided by 7. Okay. So, what is the table of 7? 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28, 7 5s are 35 and 7 6s are 42. So, here my remainder is 0 and my quotient is 6. So, does it stand true? Yes. So, this is my right option. Shall we try the next one? Yes. So, 54 divided by 9. So, tell the table of 9. 9 ones are 9. 9 twos are 18. 9 threes are 27. 9 fours are 36. 9 fives are 45. 9, 6 are? Yes, 54. So, 6 and here it becomes 54. So, here also my quotient is 6. So, here also it will stand true. So, both B and C. So, which means that this equation stands true both for option B and for option C. So, my right answer will be both B and C. So, did you understand it? So, these type of questions, whenever you get it, you have to solve all the given options and then only you can come to a conclusion because sometimes it may happen that there may be two options correct. Understood? Shall we proceed further? Okay. So, here is your next question. Your next question says, find the missing number. Okay. So, again you need to work out to find out the answer. Okay. And your question is something into 4 is equals to 24 divided by 3. Okay. And your answer are option A is 3, option B is 2, Option C is 6 and option D is 4. So, in this question also, we need to perform 
two operations. One is the multiplication and the second one is the division. So, first we will try to solve this because here we do not know what is the answer, right? So, first we will try to solve the division part. So, let us do 24 divided by 3. So, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18, 3 7s are 21 and 3 8s are 24, right? So, if you divide 24 divided by 3, I get the answer 8. And the question says that the answer of this division and the product of this multiplication is the same, which is 8. Now, I do not know what will come here. But if I multiply this number with the 4, I should get the answer 8. So, what should I do in such a case? Yes, I need to divide in order to find the number. So, what will I do? 8 divided by this number, 4. So, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, right. So, my quotient is 2. So, which means that if I multiply 2 with 4 and I divide 24 by 3, I will be getting the answer 8. So, where is 2 here? Yes. So, option B is my right answer. Are you clear? Did you understand this type of question? Okay. So, here I will give you the next pattern of question. So, the next question says, A drinks 8 liters of water every day. Okay. How many liters of water will a drink in five days? Okay, and your options are A, 40 liters, B, 42 liters, C, 32 liters, and D, 24 liters. Okay. So, the question is asked that A, maybe a boy or a girl, whoever he wants to assume, okay. A is drinking 8 liters. So, the short form for liter is L. So, 8 liters of water every day. So, one day he drinks 8 liters. How many liters of water will A drink in 5 days? So, what are we supposed to do here? Division or multiplication? Very good. We need to multiply because here, it is asking that in one day, if A drinks 8 liter, how much will he drink in 5 days, right? So, which means that we need to multiply. So, here we will not do the division, we will do the multiplication. So, 8 into 5. What is 8 into 5? Very good, it is 40, right? So, where is 40 here? Yes, it is option A. So, your right answer is 40 liters. So, A will drink 40 liters in 5 days. Is it clear? Shall we do the next question? Okay. So, here is your next question. Your next question says, Chinky took 5 days to complete a book. that had 50 pages. How many pages did she read in 
in one day. Okay, so this question is very simple, right? Chinki took five days to complete a book that had 50 pages. So, we need to find out how many pages did she take to read in one day. So, do you have to multiply or divide here? Yes, it is a division question. So, what we will do is 50 divided by and what is the number of days? 5. So, 5 into 10 is 50, right? So, my answer will be 10 pages. So, Chinky will be reading 10 pages in one day and she will take 5 days to complete the entire book which had 50 pages. So, is it clear children? Did you understand the question?